Mr. Speaker, I'm sorry to have to bring up this terrible rule. It's just that Liberal backbench MPs are coming and talking to all of us yes. to yes. say that they're not allowed to speak to him. And they're wondering if I could perhaps pose some questions on their behalf. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I guess they can't get anywhere with the current Prime Minister, so they'd rather talk to the future common sense Conservative. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of silencing his own MPs, will he let them get up to the mic tomorrow to tell him that he's not worth the cost, crime and corruption? The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, the reality is he can't administer the government because he's too busy fighting for his job after nine years. Even if his MPs know it. He broke immigration, he doubled the debt, doubled housing costs, doubled crime, doubled the cost of living in a home. He wants to quadruple the carbon tax that's already forced two million people to a food bank, one in four kids to hunger, 25 percent of Canadians to poverty. Canadian food prices up 36 percent faster than in the state. Stats can says we have the biggest gap between rich and poor in our recorded history. His MPs know that he's broke the country. Will he call a carbon tax election so we can fix it? Yeah.